Welcome to the 52 Weeks of Writing, Week 2. This week's prompt is, A Grim Reaper Must Choose Who to Take to the Next Life. Uh, I'm really excited for this one, mainly because my whole idea is that this isn't the Grim Reaper, this isn't death. This is a working class Grim Reaper who is having a tough choice on who to take to the next life. Now, that's my interpretation, and I mean, I, I did write the prompts, but really these prompts are meant for you to find whatever interpretation you think is best. Uh, it's just to get you writing every single week, and uh, I will be uploading week one in a voice acted story later this week or just sometime soon, and I wanna do it every single week. I got sick with the flu last week and so it kind of set me behind and uh, you can kind of tell from my voice that I, um, I'm still getting over that sickness but I'm basically all better now. A Grim Reaper is having to decide who to take for the next life. Uh, I've already started my story, I'm about 200 words in so far and after getting started and everything, I'm, I'm having a really good time. Um, it, writing about death is, is very interesting whether it's the person dying or whether it is actually death themselves in the story. Uh, it's a very interesting thing to do because as mortals, as short as our time is here on this earth, it's really interesting to look at that and uh, reflect on it because death, whether you believe there's an afterlife or whatever, death is kind of the final thing for this life, for who we are, whether it's just a black void at the end of it all, whether you go to heaven or hell or whatever it is. So death is really interesting. And throughout the 50, 52 prompts, I actually do have, uh, I think three or four, possibly more prompts about death and, uh, and Grim Reapers and things in general. Also, one point about horror or the theme haunted that I feel is underrated is the act of humor. Um, there are a lot of stories of humanizing or turning death into some sort of mortal or somebody who struggles to keep up with it and I find that really interesting. Obviously Terry Pratchett from the with his Discworld series does a fantastic job of humanizing and making one of the best death characters of all time. It's a very iconic person who struggles with alcoholism and families who died unexpectedly and how to deal with loss and all of these crazy things that us humans have to go through. And I find that humanizing that process for this sort of intangible uh, thing is very interesting and something that I want to explore through this week's writing. Uh, are you excited for this week's prompt? Did you get last week's prompt? Uh, I I think my, my story from last week was fantastic. It's pretty good and I took it to my a writing group and they actually really enjoyed it and they took things from it that I didn't even see which is what you want as an author. Good things of course and they, they gave me some good critiques and Again, I will be, it will go up on the website, um, but also I will be sharing it here on YouTube. That way we have a voice acted thing, so that way people who just want to hear it can hear it. I'm, I'm really excited for this. I, I feel really good about the 52 weeks of writing. Uh, one of my friends mentioned uh, that we could call it 52 and 52 or 52 by 52 something like that which I think is pretty good uh, because it's it's a much easier thing to say but also hey saying welcome to 52 weeks of writing is really fun it's something that we are developing as time goes on and I really hope you guys enjoy it let me know what you think of this challenge so far let me know your thoughts about this week's prompt remember this week's prompt is a grim reaper must choose who to take to the next life uh, but yeah, thank you so much. I'll have some resources for short stories, writing short stories all down in the description below. I will have last, last week's video as well as a link to all of the prompts in the description below. And if you would like to share your story on our website so that way you know even a little bit of people can get it and you can publish it somewhere, let me know. DM me on Instagram or comment down below and we can figure something out. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.